That's not a good sign. This computer right here is my main gaming rig. But before I tell you what the specs are, let me know in the comments down below what the specs of your gaming computer are. Alright, now let's get right into it. For the CPU, I have a Ryzen 5 2600 non-X. For the graphics card, RTX 2060 OC Ventus version. For RAM, 16GB DDR4 2x8. Smart 500W power supply and a whole heap of case fans. The whole computer, including this baller case right here, is the throne, if you can see it right here. It's got a hot swap to It's got a hot swappable hard drive bay right here. It's got fan controls, which unfortunately are not hooked up. And my favorite feature of all. Oh my God, this just makes it so cool. It cost me $300 for everything, excluding the GPU. The GPU itself also cost me $300 and I bought it during COVID times. So yeah, I bought it for a little more than it was worth. But there's a massive problem with this computer, at least for me. It's way too big. So today I'm going to case swap this computer into something a little bit smaller. This guy right here is the Cooler Master Q500. This cute little guy is literally half the size of my main rig but it can still fit all the components inside, including a full-size ATX motherboard. Now what makes this case so special is that it has the power supply mounted in a weird position. But are there any trade-offs for going with such a small case? Will it affect the thermals? Will it affect the performance? Will it affect anything at all? Well, today we're going to find out. Now one thing I do appreciate is this Core Master case comes with uh, zip ties and other accessories to help you with your build. I really appreciate that and I really like to see that. So guys, I've spent 4 painful hours getting this case together. But this is the first time I'm going to see if it actually works or not. There's a lot of zip ties but I managed to get in all the fans and stuff. So let's do this. Alright, we got the fans on, that's a good sign. That's not a good sign. One of the fans is loose, we'll fix that. All right guys, so I found the issue. It was one of these little feet that you put at the bottom of the case that were interfering with the fan, so I removed them. All right, I fixed the fan and let's see if it works. You hear that? Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's do the peel. All right, and with that, this computer is ready for testing. If you're wondering why there's tape here, I accidentally kind of broke this thing. So, yeah, that's why there's tape here. Other than that, let's get right into the benchmarks. Now, the benchmark is where things get interesting. Both of the cases used identical settings to make sure that any differences were in the cases themselves. So, in the benchmark, we can see that the Cooler Master case started off a little bit cooler. But that changes towards the end. Near the end, the Cooler case becomes a few degrees hotter. But the trade-off is that even though it was hotter, it still had better performance. I don't know why that is. I expected the largest case to have better performance. But just know I did not touch the fan curves at all. So that was mainly just the cases themselves. To reiterate what I said, the Cooler Master case started off 4 degrees cooler, but near the end it was 4 degrees hotter, and it gave us 2 more frames than the Throne case. Now this I did not expect, I was expecting the Throne case to have better thermal performance. The Q500L does have a rear exhaust fan, one more than the other one, but that fan doesn't make a difference because it barely pushes any air. 
in conclusion I would say if you have a really small space and you need a smaller case but you really need it on a budget like a hundred Canadian dollars then this case is good for you but if you don't need a small space then don't change it from the larger case it's just much better you will get much more airflow much more upgradeability and you won't have to worry about whether your parts can fit in there or not while well, with this case just to get the fans in there I had to use zip ties and everything like if you look at the front here uh, where is it uh, right here if it can focus you can see that I use a zip tie zip tie right here to keep the fan in place because the screws wouldn't fit and when it comes to the front panel super easy to scratch this part right here super easy to scratch so like I said unless you really have to don't go with this case but if you do have to go with this case you won't face any problems at all thermally it is fine but having the power supply mounted to the front does increase the noise level other than that everything about this case is just fine